Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this crankshaft out of this engine. This is a Chevy 5.3 liter. The process should be the same for this engine as it is for an LS1. One thing you may want to consider if you're rebuilding your own engine and you're going to be taking the crankshaft out anyways is that there are stroker kits available for these engines that are going to increase your displacement. That increase in displacement is going to result in more power. I looked a little bit into the stroker kits, but it was a little more money than I wanted to spend. The cheapest one that I found was around $2,000. That included the crankshaft, the connecting rods, and the pistons. If you're going to be replacing all of those on the engine, then maybe it'd be worth it. I'm reusing the same connecting rods and the crank, and so it was a little more than I wanted to spend, but let me know in the comments if you think that if you're going to be doing all this work that it's something I should have done anyways or if it's something you're going to be doing on your build and keep watching and I'll show you how they got this crank out and we'll do it right now out I need to remove this back plate on the engine and it just is a 10 millimeter and I'm just going to loosen these nuts up and then I'll use my impact gun to get them out here pretty quick. So now that I got the bolts out, I need to get this off and I'm going to try using a putty knife here. You want to be careful. I'm pretty sure this is aluminum, so you don't want to ding it up or bend it or something like that. So take it easy on it okay so i got it in there a little bit there but oh there we go it's breaking loose now okay there we go so you can see this is the crankshaft here and then this is the camshaft it's not necessary to remove this rear plate to remove the camshaft, but to get the crankshaft out, I do believe you have to take this out. So now that I got that rear main sill cap off the back, the next thing I'm gonna need to do is to remove these bearing caps. If you look on each of these caps, hopefully you can see that, there's numbers on them. So this one is number one, number two, number three, and so on you're going to want to make sure that those are numbered and if they're not you're going to want to mark them somehow so that you can put them back in the same spots and you're also going to want to make sure that the orientation is correct so put an arrow or take a picture or something so that you're putting them back exactly the way you're taking them off so to get the bearing caps off i need to undo these bolts from what i've found or what i've read you're supposed to undo each bolt a quarter a turn at a time until you can loosen them with your fingers. I don't know if there's a certain order they need to go in, but the outside bolts are actually bigger than the inside ones, so I'll just do both of those and then do the inside bolts here and then I'll go back to the outside my table's a little wobbly I need to get an engine stand one of these days so after about a quarter of a turn these outside ones are pretty loose We'll see if these inside ones, that one's pretty good. That one's okay. So now I just need to get these off of here. And now that I got the bolts out, now I just need to get the cap off. So I need to get these caps off. If you have like a rubber mallet or something, that would probably work pretty good. I don't have one. I just got this block of wood. I'm going to try to use this hammer and see if I can knock it out. If I can get it loosened up a little bit, I think it will come out.
Okay, so I got the first main bearing cap off and you saw me hitting on it with a piece of wood and the hammer and I was messing around with it for quite a while trying to get it off and I got it to the point it was wiggling back and forth and then I it seemed like there was something holding it in on the side here and that's when I finally looked and noticed that there is actually a bolt that goes into the side of this main bearing cap and it's like that on each one of these you can see them I guess it probably should have been pretty obvious but None of the books that I have mention those side bolts. None of the videos that I looked at mention those side bolts or show people removing those. So if you're struggling getting these off, make sure you get those bolts out. It'll make you feel like a moron if you're hitting that for an hour trying to get those off. But now that I figured out, I think the rest of these will come off pretty easy. So there's the crankshaft, we got it out. I think it's pretty well ready at this point to go to the machine shop.